Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here. And I know we don't have the game open like this, but I do want to say this. We are in the conference championship. Unfortunately, what it, look, what it looks like is six games. I don't know how this happened. It always tends to happen to me. And I think this is something I'm going to not just double check, but I think eventually what's going to happen is I am going to get a uh, setup that's more permanent. But as of right now, I had some issues with the audio and I'll, I'm going to start up one video. Don't be alarmed. There's going to be some audio issues with it. But this is what ultimately happens. So you had some popping and crackling things like this, but the video is fine. So it's kind of up to you guys if you want me to put this up here and just mute the audio uh, for six games. Uh, video is kind of weird as well at times, but I've, I've got it figured out at this point. I'm not sure what it was, but I'll save these videos right now so if you guys want them go ahead and put them in the uh go ahead and let me know in the comments below otherwise let's uh let's kind of do a big recap here so ultimately what i'm not worried about is this is the last season for the bears franchise so that's why i'm not all uh angry about it. it's not a big deal i did get my ps5 so i want to eventually transfer over to next gen madden on my PS5, but that constitutes finishing the Bears franchise and it constitutes finishing this year of the Dolphins franchise. And then we, uh, by that time, it should be after the draft, and then we will look at having one franchise going of a team that I'm not going to be, kind of a team that's going to be fun to look at to do. So to kind of put you through what has happened. Unfortunately, you will not be able to see the ridiculous things that have, that have happened. But Clayton Judge did get 56 passing touchdowns. We did beat Peyton Manning's record. We did go 15 and 1 on the or 6 yeah, 15-1 on the season. We did lose one game. Let's do a quick recap of the schedule. For the regular season. So, it was week 13. That's where we left off. We lost to the Giants and Saquon Barkley. Uh, pretty good big game, but we made a lot of mistakes in that one. Um, then we went on and destroyed the Packers. Had a steal of a game against Cleveland. Whooped the Panthers and then whooped the Cowboys. So if you want to see these games, go ahead and let me know. The biggest thing, probably the, the good games are the Giants and Browns. Otherwise, the other, other games weren't... Uh, much of anything, me harassing the uh, CPU. For the playoff picture, whoops, I can look at it right there. I'm not sure what's going on with some of the weird graphics. We had the bye, and then we just played the Cardinals game, which was a really, really good game. Unfortunately, the sound's kind of messed up. Uh, with that one as well so do have that but this is how it really shaked up uh, Cardinals beat the Giants and then we beat the Cardinals uh, the Rams beat San Fran and Washington beat the Bucks and then Washington went on to beat the Rams and that's where we are with the conference championship over here in the AFC it was the Chiefs over the Jags. The Colts over the Titans by three. 
and the Raiders over the Dolphins. Made a Baltimore with the first round bye. Took on the Raiders and beat them handedly 40-17. to And then Mitch played Mahomes and lost by three, which puts out your Baltimore to Kansas City game. That's pretty much the wrap up here. We shouldn't have any more issues, but I know I get excited about uh, recording this. And the biggest thing is when I was recording my... TK3 videos, I don't need to use my second PC because uh, it doesn't overload it. So I was using my uh, primary and eventually, well, I'll have to figure that out. Also, with my MLB the show franchise, I didn't really need to look at that as well because uh, with that being on next gen, I don't really have to worry about OBS uh, on my second PC I could just run it off to start off my first so that's one thing uh, with that but that's that whole thing we are on a playoff run where Khalil Mack has said he is thinking about retiring after this season anyway that's what Roquan Smith's talking about here all about Khalil Mack and we have to go against uh, a pretty a team that I don't want to say is not great but a team that probably has no no reason to be in the playoffs this deep in the playoffs but hey you never know so let's simulate training and let's go back to make sure we don't have any we do have a couple upgrades. Martez Dean. Really just sucked that uh, that happened, but please do let me in the, uh, know in the comments below if you want to see those videos. I can put them uh, unlisted and just put them in the comments below for this one so you can check those out um, from that. But just let me know otherwise. We'll just continue on from here. No big deal. So here we go. Washington football team. Uh, they're going to be in their whites. Put them in their reds. Their color rush reds. And we're going to be in our color rush blacks. And then we'll do the Super Bowl, and then if we win that game, and then if that's that, then that will be the end of this one. So, unfortunately, I spent six hours recording, and, well, it kind of didn't work out. Sometimes that happens when you're not paying attention. You're kind of so ingrained in super focus mode. You forget to check things. Also, it's a problem I never had before. Yeah, it seems to be working fine now. It's the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington football team. I don't know. Now this great venue has hosted some notable playoff games over the years. And these Here we go. Some new memories today at Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a classic in store between the Washington football team and the Chicago Bears. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. Washington here offensively, and their man under Wow, Haskins. The number 15 pick out of Ohio State in 2019. We can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects. Did you have an injury to Kenneth Jones? He's gotten injured three times this year. I think he's going to be out to at least the Super Bowl at this point. Across the 35. Now after the 
incompletion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. I'm coming after you. Well, he gets a 10 to 2. He'll step aside. And there's Khalil. Just a yard up to the 39. Yeah, it looks pretty smooth now. Oh, he's restarted my computer and it. It's not working. So I restarted my uh, laptop and it started working again. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's not a uh, normal OBS issue. Oh, what a play! Oh, there's Dawson Knox. A little speed out there on the outside. And there it is, Gary Young. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this run. There's Roquan in the backfield. Let's go, baby. And Elam into the backfield, and the Redskins get nothing. Were they in the red zone? No, they didn't even get in the red zone. No red, sco red zone scoring for you. Maybe maybe they were in the red zone at one point. We had some good stops. Little no scary Terry McLaren out there. Lauren. My bad. Wow. This defense is scary. With Chase Young out there. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return, and it will be Washington football. I really like these red uniforms. Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 37. They begin here by Andrews. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. A gain of three, second down. They go play action now. Haskins. And he's going to find his... Oh, big hit. Seeing red. No red zone for you. No red zone. Yeah. That one good for seven yards. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? Like where you're going, obviously. Oh, Khalil Mack. I want to take that shot early and move some things up. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now, looking good. Oh, the toss. There goes Andrews. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Cut, cut, cut. Alert flare, alert flare, flare, flare. They run the town. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. From the 30 on second down, Haskins. It's a short oh, come on. To the tight end. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line. 
No red zone. No red zone. Dodges out here. Didn't their skin would get really cold out here? It's a game. That's weird. It's weird that they don't have some players that there's definitely in cold weather. This game would be all like reddered in hell and everything. You go down anyway. No red zone for you. Zero. Some of their. I'm not sure if that's the detail there. Oh, never mind. It's just me. Second, I thought they actually added. There is like a cold detail on their skin, but I guess not. I don't see anyone that's like red because of the cold. Yeah, Baltimore is going to the Super Bowl over Mahomes. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. Trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, somehow, they can make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. And taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. That's caught, baby. This red zone defense is ridiculous for us. There's Trey Flowers. Yeah, that's coming back. He was laying on the ground. Yeah, 
recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. Here we go, D. All day. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Left the middle. We're running the football. This game's going pretty fast. And that's picked off by Kyle Fuller. Dwayne Haskins not going to get there. They are not ready for. Yeah, so what I'll do with those other vi other videos when they're on there, I can use, I think, the YouTube editor to mute the sound. Or what? You know what? We're just going to roll with this. And let me know. I, I can do the extra work to uh, put them through Sony Vegas and just mute the sound and put some background music or something that's not copyright music. There's Khalil. Despite some powerful yeah, running. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Mike, a little stick right there, right there. 56 to Mike, boy. 56. From the gun. You're not Passes. ready. You're Completes not ready. it to Hardman. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Let's go, baby. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. Double dog, double dog. That's the way. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's got this down oh, a yard or two shy of the 40 one. before he's out of bounds. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now here's a throw that's complete, and he'll go down here at the 35 yard line. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this Six. NFC Championship Mike, bout. Right there, 56. Again, it's Haskins. He's gonna find his running back. It's oh wow! Wow, I missed again. I give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. So here's a first and ten now, down inside the 20. Let's go, but it certainly defense. made a point of getting him involved in the passing game. There's Kyle Fuller. Little stutter step. Left to play till we hit half time. A reminder as we've done all year, we'll 
continue to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And a bit of the coaches with us per usual as we start to look ahead to our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. Well, they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Powerful And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Chuck that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, much as slow momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. I don't want to give them a first down. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. So another good job defensively because they've allowed three trips into the red zone, but only the two field goals. Yeah, that's the bend but don't break, isn't it? And they really No red zone for you. Zero. They've gotten two red zone attempts. Ridiculous. The punter dodge forced it. Got that low offense just because the fact that we've had a pick six. Our defense has been mainly on the field. In a way, though, it messing up actually helps me uh, with my MLB franchise. Believe it or not. Ability to see what you've done, they're going to 
to make watch their the adjustments. The so guess what? My you adjust check, yourself check, to try stay ahead of the pace. Because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them what they yeah. Hit them with something else. Yeah. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 39 yards there. A big one. So that about the shortest pass right there, a quarterback middle, can make, but it winds up going flat, for a bundle. Flat. Yeah, it's basically the stats. It sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball, when you get that little Texas leaguer, it turns into a double. You would think that you hit it off the wall. Big time play for him. A short little pass. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Five yards, now it's third and five. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. There's a pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. And he will have the Bears first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Keep it up, guys. It's Montgomery. And here he'll get it down oh, to the yeah. seven. It's go, a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Man, I just single, love being single. in this stadium. Single, so much single. history and tradition, so many great teams and games. And you know, we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's not even... Vildor on the outside there? Come on. That's not even a not even a real coverage attempt. Against one of the best receivers in the league? Come on. Possession of the second half now for Washington. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try to get back to where you were to start the half. Incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD. And that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league. And it's a reach. Around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Here we go. 56 to Mike. 56 on first down and I don't know what Jalen's doing but all right surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away but it does get away in its second down hey 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 we got three they'll run it with Andrews and he's got it across midfield and into Bay territory they get seven out of that so they're left with a third and three that's it baby Haskins on third down. And let's pin the mirrors back and go He's full got his man, that's Hardman. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 27 yards there on a very Call nice Hardman. down conversion. So here's a first and 10. The speed, man. Inside the 20. 56. In the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Over the middle complete. That's Andrews. Can't let that middle throw over the middle. Ball resting on the 10 yard line. It's second and one. How you get on the headache? How you get on the headache? Why? 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 Give one. And again, this time the tail. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Well, that last run makes this a hundred yard night. I've looked the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive. Time, time, baby. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Right there. Watch it out. 
Khalil. Khalil Mack gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also four. Nowhere to go. That's quite a stand there defensively. A huge sack on third down, and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes and sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, he just head out with the other foul, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense receiver, making some receiver, changes, receiver. Hey, you're on an but I wouldn't over necessarily there. just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I wouldn't right. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Here we go, D. Yeah. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain yeah, there to make it second and nine. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. 59, 59. They'll set up a throw. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this now third Robinson's going to be wide open. It's a touchdown. Oh, they could be. Mask, yeah, but I figured it can't come later in the game on another possession, and the defense on the other side, maybe a little gas, right? yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved. Here we go, field on giving up three. Single, they single, exactly feel single, like single, they've single, handled single, the offense. Haskins looking to throw on first down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute. Come on, Roquan. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin. And it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. That's going to be a long day. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up Ford. And now the punter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. He'll return it from the six. Okay. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Escaping the pressure right. And this will be caught by Mooney. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 nice and easy. We own this game. Nice and easy. This uh this line is very good. Again, no down, but not he gets into enemy 
against the run, but the secondary needs work against pass. Good first down. Montgomery's been a good workhorse for us. Come on, Jalen. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away in its second down. That's a 93 overall corner dropping a pick. There's Roquan. And it's incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. Washington on third down. They've converted six times and can use a seventh here. This is third and ten. Knocked away by Elam. Has 
Bam bounce. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's gonna really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll keep passing here with a yard. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves them with third and about six yards to go. And there's a run to be had. One more play. Solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And we go to the Super Bowl. Montgomery's got the first down anyway, so don't matter. champs as we say good night everybody and that does it for the conference championship for charles davis i'm brandon gordon and for our entire crew we'll see you two weeks at the super bowl this is the nfl Audi defense played amazing gave us short fields we didn't have to do much that game Askins, two, uh, two picks. Andrews had 100 yards. Montgomery had a touchdown. Allen Robinson had two touchdowns. Elam and Roquan out here. Richards, Sweat, Mack, Roquan with sacks. Intercepted by Fuller and Trey Flowers. All right. Pro Bowl week. Your Pro Bowl roster: Higgins, Mahomes, Haskins, Darnold, Love, Minshew, Chubb, Barkley, Elliott, Jacobs, Henry, McCaffrey, Yusrik, Ingold, Blessing Game, Beck, Rhodes, Hopkins is out here. Jefferson, Parker, Hill, Adam Thielen, Godwin, Will Fuller. I think it's Debo Samuel right there, I think. Von Diggs, Lockett, Russell, Higby, Waller, Najoku, Ingram, Kittle, OJ Howard, Becton, Smith, Thomas, Lamb, with Nelson, Mandez, Marpet, Booney, Ragnow, Linder, Kelly, Collins, Sheriff. Martin DeCastro, Lindstrom, Ramzik, Smith, Taylor, Lynchy, Lawrence, Allen, Watt, Crosby, Donald, Garrett, Clark, there's Nick Bosa, 
Forrest Buckner, Fletcher Cox, Kinlaw, Jones, Landry, Clark, Greenlaw, Chamberlain, Chamberlain from the Bills, TJ Watt, Huntington, White, Porter, Schobert, Ruiz from the Lions, Ibukam, uh, Uchi, Gay, Landry, Strait, Jones, Howard, Manning, Lewis, Mullen, Igbenoni, Griffin, Ward, Bayard's out here, Williams, Antoine Winfield Jr., Paul Adams, May, Knight, Wilder, that R. Wilder, uh, Gay, Rojas, Newski, Anger, Kennedy, Bishop, Bonds, and Benson. That's your kind of Pro Bowl brackets. Obviously, Pro Bowl roster, Judge got on there. Obviously. Well, Pro Bowls, he got on there. I don't think Montgomery had a season that would do much now. Maybe Tariq Cohen. Nope. I would see Allen Robinson. By Pro Bowls. But Mims. Nope. Mooney? When you got a Pro Bowl appearance, and Matt probably got one. Uh, nope, because of his injuries. Holbert? Daniels had to be in there. Yep. Mason didn't give up any again. Yep, Mason's in there. Amaya, I'm not sure. Amaya's in there. Purcell couldn't be in there. Um, Nichols. Jones, I don't know if he's going to be in there. Nope. Khalil Mack, of course. Roquan Smith. Fifth Pro Bowl. Did Elam make it? Elam got in. What about Gary Young? Gary Young is snubbed. What about Jalen? Jalen did not. What about Goodson then? We have no corners in here. How oh, Fuller got got in? Oh, okay. I would have never guessed that. Okay. Advance three. Super Bowl time, baby. Roquan, 99 overall. He almost got his last upgrade. Allowed. James Daniels is 95. Clayton Judge. Not much more we can actually upgrade on him. He's only 25. Jesus. 
Get the lineup here. See if there's any changes. No. Nothing here. Um No, nothing here either. Okay. Let's look at uh a couple more things to merge this episode into everything. Lamar Jackson with the Truss ability. 99 overall. We're gonna have to deal with him. JK Dobbins, which is a 90. Patrick Richard. Marquise Brown. Devin Duvernay, X Factor. Devin uh, Beckford and Tyquan Phillips. Mark Andrews. Kevin Wheaton. Bryce uh, Stanley. Caleb Weaver. Kevin Posey. Dan Bradshaw. Orlando Brown. This is a good good roster. Yak to Glockway. Uchenny Nwusu. Will McGee. Alani Moore. Rookie out of Oregon. Okay. Kevin Cherry. And Vanderash. Patrick Queen. Oseni. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. The minors? It messes me up because I know some words when they look in English characters when it's like this that are like rudimentary Chinese wise, but in English, I have no clue. Siamese? I don't know. Wyland Humphrey. It's a cool name though. I do like it. Marcus Peters. Jaden Aiken. Raphael Schaefer. Anthony Harris. Johnny Macklin. Chuck Clark. Brandon Blanton. Justin Tucker. Corey. Which one? I was calling Bo. That's why I was calling Bo. Corey Bo. Okay, so let's look at the stats for the season as well so you can get an idea. We're first in offense. Then we're like, and then ninth in defense. Makes sense. Look at the entire NFL stats. Clayton Judge, whooping everyone in the yards. Had the most uh, completions. Didn't have the most attempts, though. Passing touchdowns, 56. Lamar had 42. He had the most uh, interceptions, so. Completion percentage, best was Lamar. The next was Judge. Rating, best rating, Lamar Jackson, and then Judge. Okay. Most sacks, Daniel Jones. Okay. Rushing, Christian McCaffrey. Rushing yards, Christian McCaffrey, highs, Saquon Barkley. Touchdowns, it's Nick Chubb of 15, then Barkley. Fumbles, Clayton Judge. Receiving, Al Robinson has 99 receptions, 16 at 56, so he's also the leader in the yards. Touchdowns, Al Robinson with 18. Most well, sacks, uh, Seth Hamilton and Jerry Sampson. Least sacks, uh, Dwayne Bow, and then Josh Jones, and then Shaq Mason. Most well, solo tackles, Roquan Smith by one over Deion Jones. Assists, Roquan Smith is tied with Mark Elam. Total tackles, it's Roquan with 198, then Elam with 155. Tackles for loss, Marlon Davidson at 15. Sacks, Miles Garrett has 14. However, Leo Mack has 15. So one more. 
Interceptions, Kyle Fuller has five, JC Jackson with five, Jalen Strait with five. Most deflections, Jerry Alexander. Force fumbles, Miles Garrett. Yep. Most touchdowns, Desmond King. Mark Elam's in here. Okay, that'll be your stats. So thank you all for joining me, guys. In the next episode, we will take on our last. And I mean our last video for this franchise. We get Kenneth Jones back for the last game of this franchise. Go ahead and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.